everyone and welcome back to another video of Game with Gaming with Daka. Today I'm super excited to talk to you about the free 5 star character we're going to be getting with Sumeru who is a Dendro character, the Dendro Traveler. Yeah, sorry about the joke. Um, anyway, let's take a look at his skills, or her skills also. So, attack talents, we just got our 4 rapid blade strikes, nothing new, it's just called foreign field cleaver. Um, we also have charge attack, plunge attack, level 10, we're going to be doing about 90 damage on the beginning hits about 105 on the others let's take a look at the elemental skill razor glass blade you just make razor sharp leaves that go before you and deal dendro damage the damage is going to be 414 percent at level 10 and a cooldown of eight seconds just dendro damage the burst is called surgeon manifestation calls upon the might of the floor all around you creating a lee lotus slam this lamp will deal continuous dendro damage to opponents within its aoe um, it will also undergo following changes after it comes to contact with Hydro, Electro, or Pyro. If it comes with a Hydro, the lamp's AoE and the AoE of its attacks are increased. Electro, the lamp's attack speed is increased. And Pyro, the lamp will explode after a short delay and then disappear, dealing AoE Dendro damage. So basically, this is all about elemental reactions to boost the damage of this burst. Um, only one lamp can exist at one time. So the attack damage is going to be around 145% at level 10. The explosion damage when you come in contact with Pyro is going to be 721% level 10 which is definitely um, going to be very good for elemental um, combos here. The duration is 12 seconds, the cooldown is 20, and the energy cost is 80. So obviously the Traveler's, Dendro Traveler's big thing is going to be the burst, especially when coming in contact with Hydro, Electro, and Pyro. Let's take a look at the passive talents, Verdant Overgrowth. The Lotus Lamp will obtain one level of overflowing Lotus Light every second on the field, increasing the elemental mastery of active characters within its AoE by 6, and has a maximum of 10 stacks, so we're going to be able to get about 60 um, increased elemental mastery of the characters, which is obviously good for elemental reactions within the burst. And then Verdant Luxury. Every point of elemental mastery the Traveler possesses increases the damage dealt by elemental skill by 0.15% and the damage dealt by the burst by 0.1%. So basically, the, the passive talent is giving elemental mastery to the Traveler, so the Traveler can then deal more damage with the skills. And we've kind of been seeing this with Sumer characters where passives help each other out. So, uh, what do you guys think about Dendro Traveler? Do you think he'll be better than the others? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But for now, thank you for watching, have a nice day, and Gaming with Daka out.